Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and can I ask, please, if you are watching this video, if you do watch a lot of my videos and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, smash the like button, show me a little bit of support. This one has got a little bit of something special in it, and I think it truly must be a one in a million shot. We are in season 15 of the arena. I'm out in the Cossack. I've got an Atlanta B and a Leon in division with me. Um, although we aren't in party chat, it is just four divisions thrown together, which seemed to be the rare occasion when I was queuing as a loaned DD. I'm going to do my job and I'm going to push out there. I'm going to pick up some boosters. I'm going to get out and scout, see what's around. And, uh, you know, we want to get this game won. But it's going to be a hard fight. I'm looking at what those two guys are doing. I ping the map, give them an idea of the indication to the nearest targets and hoping that they will get their guns trained in that general area. Now, although I'm pushing in close to the cap, I'm not going to do the mad thing of doing a bum rush and rushing into the cap in the first two minutes of the game. But what I do want to do is get far enough out that I can spot for the guys on my team, but also close enough to the cap that if I need to, I can get in there and contest it if somebody does decide to rush. We pick it up the boosters as we go and I look at the minimap and I see that both the cruiser and the battleship are heading for the islands and I'm wondering at this moment in time if I'm going to get bumped whether or not they're going to be in a position to support me or if they're going to be blocked by those islands from getting shots onto anything. We do see that all three other teams do appear to be pushing in towards the cap and that can often lead to a very big hard fast brawl. Looking at where those two guys are going they seem committed to be going behind that island and that means that I am going to be without support. I'm certainly not the strongest ship in the game at the moment because it is still full teams out there. There are cruisers. I don't want to get myself detected. So what I am going to do while those guys are tracking out around the back of that island is to push in to the cap. Because what I'm going to try and do now is make everybody else see that the cap is being taken. And that is going to draw in the other teams to try and contest this. Literally, we're going to pull them out of cover and then we're going to sail away. We are going to pick up as many boosters as we can. We're having a look around to see what's spotted, to see what's around. And uh, pink team are going to be the, the cautious players here on this one. Um, excuse me, I need to cough. Right, here we go. Pink team, as I said, we're going to be the cautious ones here. That Shan horse is being squeezed, not only by Orange, because Orange are being squeezed by Pink. Um, Orange are trying to squeeze Red. And now I'm thinking that maybe my two guys did make the right decision in pushing behind those islands, because at least it is going to screen them from some fire. Orange team Scharnhorst is pushing into the cap. I'm looking at where my torpedoes are going to land. So it seems as though my little trick I pulled may have worked, or it may just be that everybody's getting squeezed and they're all bunching up. This is a case of where kills account for the team. So you'll notice that while there is a ship spotted, Everybody is trying to pick up the kill because if the cap doesn't get taken, the team with the most kills wins. That's if there are ships left on other teams in the game. So
So, Orange Team have turned to contest Pink. Red Team are also putting fire on them as well. And there we see one orange and one pink disappear. The Shan Horst is there, he's out on his own, but there's still a destroyer out here somewhere, unsighted. The Boise is at the back of the map. My guys are there, they've got themselves some protection, but that leaves me without protection. So I'm going to have to play smart and play safe here. Pink team, I know we're pushing in from around the two o'clock position on the minimap. And I'm having a look to see where they are. There is a Nelson out there, and I think it is a Miyoko. And it does look like they are the closest targets to me at the moment. Red team Shanhorst has disappeared. That leaves a Boise and an Akatsuki. I know that I'm pushing forwards towards the Boise, but what I'm trying to do is to get this Akatsuki spotted so that um, he doesn't end up running around the corner of that island and bumping my guys with two salvos of torpedoes because that would not put me in a very good position here. The Boise is being very stealthy. He's pushing, he's dropping detection. We do get the Akazuki spotted, and now we are going to have to go guns on him. He's obviously either just fired his torpedoes or he's turning to get torpedoes. We do land some good shots on him, his engine's out. He is going to do the DD thing, he's going to pop his smoke. I'm turning out, I'm running my smoke because I want to be cleared. We're waiting for this reload. We get some more shots on and we make a connection, but he's not dead. He hasn't got a fire on him. We don't risk that shot in the smoke, but here we go. You are going to see a one in a million shot. And I didn't even realize that this had happened till the end of the game. The Akatsuki's in a smoke. My two guys are focused on that Boise. I'm not spotted at all. I totally waste my torpedoes here because that Nelson is actually sat on the edge of the rock. But we get shots on, he's got barely a sliver of health on. We pull the trigger again, but it's not the main guns that get it. That's a close quarters expert badge from the only secondary gun on a destroyer, or on this destroyer. But that Nelson has obviously been sat waiting to pull the trigger knowing that I am the risk here. He either wanted me or the Akatsuki just under three and a half thousand hit points. That is not good for me. So now I need to get away from this Boise. We've got a pretty much full health Miyoko out there. We know that we've got um, the Nelson out there. And if anything, it is the cruisers that we need off this map. So the Miyoko and the Boise, they are the ones that need to disappear. I'm pushing down on this Miyoko because I'm trying to screen early for torpedoes. But we lose the Atlanta. That leaves myself and the Leon against a full health Miyoko, full health Nelson, and a Boise that's got a sliver of health left on it. So now we're going to have to be careful about our decision making. We need to keep the Capri set because they have two ships in it, which means it'll turn very, very quickly. We do sling some torpedoes across towards a Nelson, but I think that Miyoko is running sonar and the Nelson is going to get those spotted very early. Now in arena, as I said earlier, kills do count. That Boise gets himself set on fire. I'm not letting that one go. I'm taking the risk. Risk it for a biscuit. We take the kill. That basically keeps us up in the standings. But now we need to look at taking care of this Nelson and the Miyoko. Now in a battle... I would rather be up against the Nelson than up against the Miyoko. I'm swinging it round again to try and screen for uh, this battleship as we push in 
to the cap. I'm watching for my smoke screen counting down, but we are going to have to chance it and get some shots on to keep that cap reset. The Nelson is pushing in again. We're going to widespread thinking that he's going to try and angle like that and keep angling like that. But I think he's wise to it. He knows there's, there's a destroyer here and he's just going to keep twisting and turning a little bit. But here we go. Our smoke's available. We fire our guns. We're going to try and just get that cap reset. And I keep asking this um, battleship. You'll see me ping just to take that Miyoko out. I can handle the Nelson, you know, if he dies, I can handle the Nelson a lot better than I can a cruiser, certainly with the amount of hit points that I've got left. As much as I want to stay with that guy, in case he's running will to rebuild, I can't go in close to that Nelson. So we're going to keep on the guns, there we go, telling them hit the Miyoko. We're going to engine boost away from there and we are going to use our speed. And I'm hoping, I'm thinking, you know, is he going to ram this guy? Is he going to ram the Nelson? He could double, you know, he could double strike this by finishing the Miyoko and ramming the Nelson. They're literally two Leviathans charging at each other. I slam my torpedoes out there because I think that Nelson thinks that I am still in my smoke. But with his final salvo, the Leon manages to land a kill shot on that Miyoko, picks him up a high caliber, which was an absolutely fabulous sh shot. And I was eternally grateful that he took that guy out of the game. Nelson takes torpedoes, three floods. He's already on fire. That is it. Game over. That might have played out differently and we could have had to dance for a while, but... Him running my smoke down, thinking he was in for an easy kill, and he was the one that ended up being an easy kill. But there we go, close quarters expert in a Cossack which has a single secondary on the back of it, which I think is the ship's chef throwing pots and pans at the enemy team. So GG to Leon for pulling that miracle shot on the Miyoko, 3141 base XP for him. 29.40 for me, and our Atlanta did a fairly decent job, picks up a kill with 17.39. I hope you've enjoyed watching this one, that is truly a one in a million shot, I think for me with a Cossack and for the Leon with that shot on the Miyoko. But please do hang around, click on one of these links, watch a few more videos, and as I said already, if you haven't subscribed, please do, and smash the like button while you're there. Until next time. Take care and goodbye.